Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG Vel 46. This is a machine that you can play all the gack a mole you want to with it. It is absolutely amazing. And we've equipped it with the Quartermaster Suppressor and the Paracord Underbarrel Grip. So let's see how it does. But first, let's take a look at the statistics. Headshot damage 39, 30 for the upper torso, 26 and 26 for the lower torso and the upper leg. So you want to keep your shots high. Effective damage 10.2 meters, but a minimum damage range of nearly 41 meters. Look at the rate of fire. 952.4 rounds per minute. That's more than 15 rounds a second. You're putting out the lead with this thing. Recoil, the way I have it configured, is 101.81 degrees per second. But as you saw in the lead-in, this weapon is able to pick off people from head glitches at distance. Horizontal recoil a lot less at 11.06 degrees per second and the vertical recoil is pretty tough at nearly 50 degrees per second. Mobility fairly quick not anything to write home about but the tack sprint is 7.4 meters per second and the ADS movement speed is 3.8 almost 4 meters per second ADS speed a bit on the slow side for grandpa and that's mostly due to the quarter master suppressor at 198 milliseconds sprint to fire speed though pretty quick at 86 milliseconds and speaking of recoil we did earlier didn't we let's have a look at the recoil and the shooting range. First we'll try a hip fire with no control of the recoil. Straight up. I didn't see that horizontal recoil. Yeah, a little bit of side to side bounce. And remember, this is a 50 round magazine. Now let's have a look at it. Aim down sight, no recoil control. Once again, it goes straight up to the moon. Easy to control. Okay. Let's have a look at the other attachments. The other prima donna attachment is the paracord grip that helped with the sprint to fire and the ADS movement speed. And a little bit with the horizontal recoil, there's absolutely no downsides with this attachment. I don't know why people don't always use it. The 50 round magazine, when you're putting out rounds at 950 rounds per minute, 15 rounds per second, if you're going into free for all, you're going to need a much larger magazine. I didn't take the 60 round because it just did too much damage, but if you look at the 50 round magazine, you'll see that the reload quickness and empty reload quickness are the only things affected. There's no mobility tax with it. There's no accuracy tax. There's nothing. The collapsible stock, and that's what bumped up our recoil to near infinity, but it helps with the mobility and the handling significantly. It's worth it to grandpa, especially like I said, since I picked off enemies at head glitches at medium range. And finally, I had an extra slot, so I put in the overpressure ammo. That way, if the enemy is at range and I'm firing above him or beside him, it'll cause flinch. So his shot back at me will be a lot less accurate. So let's take the OG paracord grip and quartermaster suppressor onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's go. Okay, let's get into it. Free for all in Tokyo. We can stop for sushi. Look at the bullet hose. I mean, this gun is an absolute bullet hose. Paracord helps. Oop. Grandpa's going to jump off the map into the never-never world there. Going to go to Narnia. It's easy if people aren't looking at you, isn't it? But the paracord, it does help with the recoil. It hurts the sprint to fire and ADS a little bit, but... We'll live with it, for, at least for one video. I may live with it forever. Who knows? So I um, appreciate the comments I've been getting on the videos. Uh, every once in a while, I run into a guy that's, oh, look at the Muppet there. Young lady was a Muppet. All right, I see. We can fire that off. We'll run into a guy that gives me a severe critique of my play, and... Number one, uh, I, I don't know how they're qualified to do that. Ooh. And number two, in the military, we always said those who say they can usually cannot. So keep that in mind. Now, you guys on the stream with me and 
your regular contributors, I don't mind a critique. And I, COD is a game. It's fun. I enjoy it. I could never have done this and when I was working a full-time job. Absolutely could not because it's 13, 14 hours a day for me minimum. Look at that. That's Habib. The Amazon. Look at Habib running. The Amazonian warrior woman. So I played against Habib on another map, and I thought that Habib would be the absolute toughest person to beat here. And with all that movement, and with the ability to s switch weapons so quickly, and there's a B again. But I was wrong. I mean, and that's another thing. You know, I get a critique on, oh, your movement's terrible. Well, <laughs> look at Habib. And Habib was a good player, don't get me wrong. And I enjoyed playing against there's a B again, a good player. But you don't need necessarily any of that advanced movement or fancy switching weapons all the time as you're running between places or jump down, turn around, pick a bale of strawberries or whatever. You just need to be able to shoot. You need to have map sense, and you, you need to know where the enemy is. Like there's a sniper ADS up in the window. There's Habib, the Amazonian warrior woman again. And so I really enjoy playing against players like Habib because it tests my skills a little. And you know what? Grandpa never said he's a great player. Grandpa just likes to have fun. And Grandpa need, likes to stay up to date. I like the community. I like commenting with you folks. I like playing with you. And I have the time to do it now because my life's in a different place than it was before. A little jump shot. So, I mean, comment all you want on... I mean no offense, that's what they usually start off with, and then somebody says something that would be offensive to most people, but Grandpa just water off a duck's back. And also give me suggestions. Uh, you guys have given me a lot of suggestions on setting up my controller, and you know what? I take most of them, and all of them I try. Some of them I implement, some I don't. And Grandpa's getting further behind here because he's running his mouth more than he's shooting his, shooting his weapon there. But if you're not having fun playing COD, if you're overly serious, then maybe you ought to go into something else like Brawl Stars or something like that. Play on your phone. There's Habib. I think Habib was in first here was Elvis the king. And you can see that just pulling the trigger on this thing just sets out a complete stream. And even with the 107 degrees per second gun kick and the huge vertical recoil, medium to long range shots were pretty, were gettable with these airs. Somebody that stepped in paint, as you can see right there. I mean, we have, there's a B begin. We have good players that come on the, on the stream, and I enjoy playing with them. I watch them. I try to imitate them. That's how I did when I was a young pilot. I mean, I flew formation. You're not checked out right away with, as a flight lead. you got to get on somebody's wing, and you watch how they fly. And I learned more after I got my wings watching the old heads flying than I did in pilot training. I mean, pilot training, I learned the mechanics of getting a fighter on the ground. Same with COD. When I'm with a better player, and you guys know who you are, a lot of them come and play with me on the stream, even up to once a professional player. I watch and I learn because I want to have more fun, and I have fun gacking people. I like serving chips with the gacamole. And this weapon... As long as somebody's not shotting you or killing you with a tear in the back, we'll gack, folks. It's underused. It really is. There's, I see, with movement, you can ADS all you want. There are some guys that would have taken that shot and gacked me on my way down that I play against. He's not one of them. 
And we just need one more, so Grandpa's going to run around like an ape on fire and somebody steps on one of my cluster mines. Oh, we'll do a little dance. You guys can learn some moves. Maybe I should start a YouTube channel on dance moves. You guys think you'd subscribe to that? Peace. And so we won the first one. Habib left the game at some point. I guess I could go back and see. I don't know when, but he was really running fast. Now this, I know the spawns. So I, I wait for the, the first GAC there, the person in the garage. And the weapon is just an absolute bullet hose. I mean, I, I, I can't say more about it. You around 16, 17 rounds per second going out. Takes you five rounds to kill, but the first round in range was a hit scan, so really it takes you four rounds to kill. So you're you're well under a 300 millisecond time to kill, always just about with this weapon. So it's it's strong as battery acid. There you go. And it, and it just shoots as straight as an arrow. So we're going to be streaming on every Thursday and Sunday night at 6.30 Central. And I've also done some impromptu streams on Wednesday when the new challenges come out. And some people play with me as we're getting our challenges here. Have fun with that one. Oh, and somebody shoots one and it kills Grandpa. You ever feel like a grenade magnet? Like a granado magnet? Who is that guy? Who's trying to kill Grandpa? They're not trying to kill me anymore. Do you? They did it. There's the unfortunate spawn spot, that corner. I've had two people spawn there at the same time before. Me being one of them. There's somebody, a Muppet in the garage there. And you saw how this weapon, with just a little bit of strafe, is absolutely straight as an arrow. Even with the 107 degree per second kick and the huge vertical recoil. This person here didn't know how to find Grandpa. I felt sorry for him. Because at least they were aggressive and they weren't Muppeting. That guy was Muppeting. Shot him through the chair. You can't even get any sun there. He's in the shade. Got to switch to Renetti. Tell him we love him and uh, take a whole magazine in my back. Yeah. Okay. Muppeting really doesn't work on the smaller maps in free for all. There's Elvis. That's Grandpa's first indication that he was behind. I thought I was leading this game. There's always a Muppet in the bathtub. I guess they're dirty, need to be clean. And the one thing about this weapon is you need to you need to change out the magazine a lot, even with the 50 round mag. But I think it's underused and underappreciated. I don't see a lot of Vels out there, and the people that are using them, especially if they're good players, they're winning with them. They, they are just destroying me. Yep, he stayed in the spawn spot. Grandpa needs two more. There's one. Come on. Whoa, there's a customer. Potential. Whoa, what's he doing? And Grandpa wins again. Bottom line is, after I do my dancing and acting a fool there, but um, the Vel 46 fantastic weapon it's a permanent class for me that and the fennec i mean i have them in my armory my special setups let me know what you think about them in the comments please like and subscribe peace